The Mohs Hardness Scale is a numerical logarithmic ranking system used in geology to measure the relative hardness of minerals based on their ability to scratch or be scratched by other minerals. This scale is valuable for identifying minerals in the field, as a mineral can scratch any mineral with a lower number but can be scratched by any mineral with a higher number meaning that it provides a quick and practical way to assess the hardness of minerals, aiding in mineral identification and classification within the field of earth sciences. Meaning that if you want to know what particular mineral or crystal you have, knowing the Mohs hardness scale is a remarkably useful tool at your disposal. Item number one on the Mohs hardness scale is the mineral talc which is by far the softest mineral on the Mohs hardness scale. It can be easily scratched by a copper coin or even something as innocuous as a fingernail. Its use in mineral identification involves its characteristic soapy feel and the ease with which it can be scratched, helping geologists or mere collectors distinguish it from harder minerals. The second mineral on the Mohs hardness scale is gypsum which is slightly harder than talc, but still quite soft. It can, again, be scratched by a fingernail as well, but its key feature is its ability to be scratched by harder minerals, but not by talc, aiding in the differentiation during mineral testing. The third mineral on the Mohs hardness scale is the mineral calcite, which is a common mineral that can be scratched by a copper penny. It is often used to identify rocks like limestone or marble as their primary constituent is calcite and the mineral's reaction to hydrochloric acid is also diagnostic. Item number four is the mineral fluorite, which is harder than calcite but can be scratched by a steel knife. It's recognisable for its cubic crystal structure and a wide range of colours which vary depending on impurities. Mineral number five is the mineral apatite which is moderately hard and can scratch glass. It's an essential mineral in phosphate rocks and can be identified through its hexagonal crystals and its propensity to fluoresce under ultraviolet light. Number six is orthoclase feldspar. This feldspar mineral can be scratched by steel and is commonly found in igneous rocks. Its cleavage and striations can be useful in distinguishing it from other minerals. Typically, a steel nail will be used to determine the scratch on orthoclase feldspar. Number seven on the Mohs hardness scale is the mineral quartz, which is quite hard. It comes in various forms and colours, making it one of the most common and recognisable minerals. Its hardness and resistance to weathering make it valuable in identifying rock types. The best material to scratch quartz would be topaz, Item number eight on the scale is topaz, which is a particularly hard mineral, but it can be scratched by corundum, which will be ruby and sapphire, and just so happens to be the next thing on the scale. It's known for its glassy appearance and various colours, often used as a gemstone. Number nine on the scale is corundum, which is an extremely hard mineral capable of scratching most other minerals. It is famous for its gem varieties, including sapphire and ruby, which are both very highly prized. The final mineral on the Mohs hardness scale at number 10 is diamond, which sits at the top of the scale as it is by far the hardest natural substance known to man. Nothing can scratch it except, of course, another diamond. Its extreme hardness and brilliance make it one of the most valuable gemstones available today. In mineral identification, the Mohs hardness scale is a quick field test that helps geologists or mere collectors narrow down possibilities. By determining which mineral scratches another, they can make initial assessments of the minerals present in a rock or mineral sample, which aids in geological studies, exploration or just innocent curiosity.